God was just wanting to protect them. And so Moses keeps climbing. Others ahead of yourself. Do not bear false witnesses against your neighbor. 
I have no idea what that means. It means don't gossip a lot. Not even just a little bit. That's putting others ahead of yourself. Do not covet your neighbor's house or your neighbor's wife or servants, his ox or donkeys or... Translation, please. Car, bike, cell phone, big screen TV. In other words, do not be greedy or jealous of anything. Be happy with what you have and be happy for the others for what they have. That's putting others ahead of yourself. So that's it then. Put God first and put others ahead of yourself. Basically, it's just common sense. No difficulty after all. So that's why I should remember to read the Bible. The Bible is the most important book. It's God's Word. It's His message to us. It also tells us who God is. When you love God and people, you will want to do the Ten Commandments. That would sum up quite nicely the reason why I read the Bible. Interesting. It's not just a bunch of do's and don'ts. Obviously, there's more to it than I thought. Maybe I'll leave it no more. Well, I'm glad he interrupted the book, the skit. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, do you all understand those commandments? Yeah. Yes. Mm. Are they just as important today as they were years ago? Yes. Yes, they are just as important. God is holy and separate from sin. His law shows us what he requires in the Ten Commandments. Perfect righteousness. Our sin separates us from God, but Jesus came back to bring to bring us back to God. Jesus is perfectly righteous. When we trust in Jesus, he takes away our sin and welcomes us into God's family. Isaiah is going to pray for us. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for today. I thank you for allowing us to uh, come here safely, God, and learn more about you. I pray that you allow us to have the strength, God, to follow out your commandments, God, and to live for you. It's your name I pray. Amen.